Kerogen is a mixture of organic chemical compounds that make up a portion of the organic matter in sedimentary rocks. It is insoluble in normal organic solvents because of the high molecular weight of its component compounds. The soluble portion is known as bitumen. When heated to the right temperatures in the Earth's crust, some types of kerogen release crude oil or natural gas, collectively known as hydrocarbons. When such kerogens are present in high concentration in rocks such as shale, they form possible source rocks. Shales rich in kerogens that have not been heated to a warmer temperature to release their hydrocarbons may form oil shale deposits. The name kerogen was introduced by the Scottish organic chemist Alexander Crum Brown in 1906. Formation of kerogen. With the demise of living matter, such as diatoms, planktons, spores and pollens, the organic matter begins to undergo decomposition or degradation. In this breakdown process, large biopolymers from proteins and carbohydrates begin to dismantle either partially or completely. This breakdown process is basically the reverse of photosynthesis. These dismantled components are units that can then polycondense to form polymers. This polymerization usually happens alongside the formation of a mineral component resulting in a sedimentary rock like kerogen shale. The formation of polymers in this way accounts for the large molecular weights and diverse chemical compositions associated with kerogen. The smallest units are the fulvic acids, the medium units are the humic, and the largest units are the humans. When organic matter is contemporaneously deposited with geologic material, subsequent sedimentation and progressive burial or overburden provide significant pressure and a temperature gradient. When these humic precursors are subjected to sufficient geothermal pressures for sufficient geologic time, they begin to undergo certain specific changes to become kerogen. Such changes are indicative of the maturity stage of a particular kerogen. These changes include loss of hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and sulfur, which leads to loss of other functional groups that further promote isomerization and aromatization which are associated with increasing depth or burial. Aromatization then allows for neat molecular stacking in sheets, which in turn increases molecular density and vitrinite reflectance properties as well as changes in spore coloration, characteristically from yellow to orange to brown to black with increasing depth. Composition As kerogen is a mixture of organic material, rather than a specific chemical, it cannot be given a chemical formula. Indeed, its chemical composition can vary distinctively from sample to sample. Kerogen from the Green River Formation oil shale deposit of Western North America contains elements in the proportions carbon-215 hydrogen 330, oxygen 12, nitrogen 5, sulfur 1, types. Ivan Crevelin diagram is one example of classifying kerogens, where they tend to form groups when the ratios of hydrogen to carbon and oxygen to carbon are compared. Type 1, sap propellant type 1 oil shales yield larger amount of volatile or extractable compounds than other types upon pyrolysis. Hence, from the theoretical view, type 1 kerogen oil shales provide the highest yield of oil and are the most promising deposits in terms of conventional oil retorting containing alginite, amorphous organic matter, cyanobacteria, freshwater algae, and land plant resins, hydrogen, carbon ratio greater than 1.25. Oxygen, carbon ratio less than 0.15, shows great tendency to readily produce liquid hydrocarbons. It derives principally from lacustrine algae and forms only in anoxic lakes and several other unusual marine environments. Has few cyclic or aromatic structures, formed mainly from proteins and lipids. Type 2. Planktonic type 2 kerogen is common in many oil shale deposits. It is based on marine organic materials which are formed in reducing environments. 
Sulfur is found in substantial amounts in the associated bitumen and generally higher than the sulfur content of type 1 or 3. Although pyrolysis of type 2 kerogen yields less oil than type 1, the amount acquired is still sufficient to consider type 2 bearing rocks as potential oil sources plankton. Hydrogen, carbon ratio less than 1.25, oxygen, carbon ratio 0.03 to 0.18, tend to produce a mix of gas and oil. Several types. Sporonite, formed from the casings of pollen and spores cutinite, formed from terrestrial plant cuticle resinite, formed from terrestrial plant resins and animal decomposition resins liptonite formed from terrestrial plant lipids and marine algae. They all have great tendencies to produce petroleum and are all formed from lipids deposited under reducing conditions. Type 2. Sulfur is similar to type 2 but high in sulfur. Type 3. Humic land plants. Hydrogen, carbon ratio less than 1. Oxygen, carbon ratio 0.03 to 0.3. Material is thick, resembling wood or coal. Tends to produce coal and gas. Has very low hydrogen because of the extensive ring and aromatic systems. Kerogen type 3 is formed from terrestrial plant matter that is lacking in lipids or waxy matter. It forms from cellulose, the carbohydrate polymer that forms the rigid structure of terrestrial plants, lignin, a non-carbohydrate polymer formed from phenylpropane units that binds the strings of cellulose together, and terpenes and phenolic compounds in the plant. Type 3 kerogen involving rocks are found to be the least productive upon pyrolysis and probably the least favorable deposits for oil generation. Type 4. Residue hydrogen. Carbon ratio less than 0.5. Type 4 kerogen contains mostly decomposed organic matter in the form of polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. They have no potential to produce hydrocarbons. Origin of material. Terrestrial the type of material is difficult to determine, but several apparent patterns have been noticed. Ocean or lake material often meet kerogen type 3 or IV classifications. Ocean or lake material deposited under anoxic conditions often form kerogens of type 1 or 2. Most higher land plants produce kerogens of type 3 or IV. Some coal contains type 2 kerogen. Extraterrestrial carbonaceous chondrite meteorites contain kerogen-like components. Such material is thought to have formed the terrestrial planets. Kerogen materials have been detected in interstellar clouds and dust around stars.